What's going down folks? It's your boy C23 back on the sticks once again with another Madden 16 episode for you guys. This is week two and we're diving right into the gameplay coming out, dotting them up early with the slant play to Baldwin and on the very first play of the game there's a flag already. We can't even get through our first drive yet so this one might be called pretty tight folks. So the penalties on the defense for roughing the passer so we'll take the extra 15 yards and keep the chains moving. After the penalty, I hand it off to Gordon for a nice run up the middle, and he picks up a first down. Next, I come back trying to go play action, looking downfield and get leveled by Wilkerson. We should probably reconsider running any type of play action over to that side. So the next play, I try to go back to the ground game, and once again, we are stuffed in the backfield. The defense just had the perfect play call against my offense at play. So on third and 10, I decide to come out in the five wide set, looking downfield and force the pass over the middle. And of course it's picked off, I threw it right to him. This is not the way that we wanted to come out and start this game, folks. That was just a terrible read on my part. So now we gotta rely on our defense to come out and have a better showing because our offense must still be hanging out in the locker room or something because they are not ready right now. So looking at second and nine, Osweiler hands it to Ingram, he has a huge hole and burns us for a pretty big pickup on the play. Our defensive coordinator is not gonna be happy seeing that play in the film room. So now they got a first and 10. Osweiler tries to hand it off, but is met in the backfield by Wilford. Wilford just blew up that entire play from the snap. That was a great play coming from our D tackle. And that's the type of effort that you want to see from everybody on the defensive line. If we play like that, it'd be pretty impossible to run the ball against us. So we'll see if that continues. Getting back to the gameplay though, on third and five, Osweiler goes up top and somehow gets it over to Decker who makes a pretty nice catch. That was solid coverage by our DB. So the Jets are driving now, folks. We need our defense to step up and make some plays. So first and 10, they go back to the ground game and they only gain about one or two on the play. Bringing up second down now, Osweiler has all day in the pocket and overthrows his wide receiver. And looking at it now, he had time in the pocket and a receiver running wide open downfield. So I'm glad he decided to throw it there. So on third down, Osweiler drops back and throws the pass in the coverage. It could have been picked off by Jefferson, but either way, the defense did its job and only held him to three points. That's a win for the defense just about every time. But we got to come out and respond. We got to get some offense going. A couple plays into our second drive on third and four. Rivers completes a pass to McDonald for a first down, keeping the drive alive. Rivers coming out with an empty backfield set now, looking downfield, trying to make a play, and delivers a strike to Keenan Allen, who makes the play in traffic. Those are the types of explosive plays that could be game changers, folks. We need more plays like that. Now, after a couple of straight passes, I decided to try to get the ground game going again, but the Jets defense is just swarming to the ball today. There's nowhere to go. So bringing up a second and long situation, I take the snap and the pistol, and Wilkerson is right there to apply the pressure. We were able to get rid of the ball, though, so it wasn't a sack, but at the same time, it brings up a third and 12, and the Jets secondary just about has everything locked up. I took my only option with the one-on-one -on -one play, trying to get it over to Allen, but he wasn't able to make the play. Good D by Gilchrist. So a couple drives into this game, folks, you can already get a feel of what type of game this is going to be. Since both defenses right now are looking like they're not going to surrender that much. One thing I can say, though, is that Chargers run defense has really been stepping it up as the rookie makes another play. Demarcus Foreman just keeps flashing and making plays in the backfield. So far in these last couple of games, I've really liked how he's played the run. But hopefully later in the season, he'll develop those pass rush skills so we can send them after QBs. So after the incomplete pass by Osweiler, our defense has done it again. They stepped up and forced a three and out, getting our offense the ball back. So a couple of plays in our next drive is third and 12. I drop back looking downfield and connect with Stevie Johnson on the sideline. And with the way our offense has been playing today, we really needed that one. A couple plays later on second and nine, Rivers connects with Josh Gordon for another first down. So we're slowly getting some kind of rhythm on offense here. Even though we're not doing much with our early downs. On the money down, we seem to always come up big, converting another third down there. And I'm trying to be a little bit more cautious with the ball here. That's why I'm not taking too many shots downfield because I have a tendency to sometimes be too aggressive with the pass plays and end up trying to force a play that's not really there. So we gotta be a little bit more cautious in the red zone. But on third and four, I get locked in and connect with Ladarius Green for the touchdown. And what's up with Revis throwing my guy down like that? I mean, come on, the play was already over. Ref, you gotta call that. So now the Jets come out looking to respond. Osweiler looks deep and throws it right to Verrett. He's right there in position to make the play on the ball. 
and Verrett comes down with his first interception of the season. So now we gotta take advantage of the turnover. On first and 10, Rivers drops back, fires the pass and the drag right over the ball when he breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, and he's taking it to the house and then stumbles at the one yard line. Come on, Baldwin. We'll take it though, he got in the end zone with that. But like I said in the last episode, Baldwin could really be one of those sneaky pickups. When we added Baldwin just before the start of week one, I really didn't expect for him to come in and contribute the way that he has. I just needed another receiver that I can throw out there in a five wide set. That's really it. And through two weeks, he's already emerged as my first or second option on offense every play. So hopefully that continues. And oh, before I forget, I asked you guys what I should do with Phillip Rivers. Should I trade him? Should I keep him? Should I go after a QB in the free agency? And a lot of you guys said to hold on to Rivers. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. And oh my goodness. Look at the play that Reed just made on Mark Ingram. And on second and 13, the rookie Demarcus Foreman makes his presence felt again in the backfield. You guys see what I'm talking about now? I don't mean to keep repeating myself, but this guy is out here making plays. But anyways, though, on third and 16, Osweiler throws it up and the pass is almost picked off. But we get the ball back after they go three and out. So now it's time to go back to the ground game and look at the rookie Hennings finding all kinds of running room right there. He doesn't quite pick up the first down, so on second and one, I figure, why not? Let's give him the rock again and let him pick up the first down. And it's really starting to seem like Hennings is getting stronger with every run. So I give it to him again, and it's the same result. Great blocking. I tried to bounce it outside the last second, but it didn't really work. But we'll take the pickup of seven there. So after consecutive run plays, I figured let's dial up the play action and throw the pass over to Keenan Allen, who makes the catch for another first down. Right now, the offense seems to be in rhythm, folks. Later in the drive, second and 10, I dump it over to Keenan Allen, who makes the catch, but is tackled at the five yard line. So we set up shop in the red zone, looking to punch it in. I come out and hand it off to the rookie, and look at Hennings bulldoze his way into the end zone for the touchdown. I think he just ran over Gilchrist and ended up dragging Wilkerson with him to the end zone. So the next drive, the Jets get the ball in the red zone. Osweiler takes the snap, drops back, looking downfield, and miraculously avoids the pass rush to complete the touchdown pass to Decker. You have got to be kidding me. My D lineman just gave up completely on the play. Anyway, though, moving things ahead a bit to the 324 mark in the fourth quarter, they try to go back to the ground game, and our defense is right there to stuff the play in the backfield. Bringing up a second and 12, Osweiler looking to pass, connects with Decker for a five-yard pickup on the play. So now we're looking at third and seven. We need to stop here, folks. They go back to the ground, and we make the stop two yards shy of them picking up a first down. So on fourth and two, they're going for it. Ingram's in the backfield, ready for the snap. Osweiler snaps it, hands it off, and look at Melvin Ingram shed the tight end to make the play. So we take over on downs at our own five yard line. Rivers hands it off to Hennings, and look at the blocking in front of him. There is nothing but green grass. He is going to get tackled at the 35 yard line. I thought he would take it to the house, but I guess he just ran out of gas at the end. But anyway, we take this one 21 13 and move up to 2 0 on the season. I won't even lie to you guys, this one was pretty tough at times, but we did enough to get the win, so we'll take the W and move on to the next one. Anyways, folks, that's all the time I got in this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.